guys, Jay here. I am back with the 7-inch NECA Godzilla from 2014. Um, I had a really, really cool comment on the other video I did with him where I made his head look up. Uh, YouTuber Bricks and Tricks asked if I could figure out a way to make his jaw open further. So that's what I'm going to look at today. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do that with this figure, but I, th I was messing around with him and I think I figured out how. Normally, that's about as far as you can get his jaw open. You might be able to open it up a little bit more if you force it. Um, and looking at it, what's happening, let's get a good angle on this, is when you open up his jaw, uh, lighting is terrible, I apologize, it's hitting right here on the lower part of the head. There, you can see it. When you close it, there's a little bit of a gap there, but when you open it, it is hitting right there. There, you can see it. And you can kind of force it down a little bit, kind of pops these joints out, which is where the jaw is actually hinged into the head. But yeah, it's hitting right, right here. That's what's causing it to only open up so far. So what I'm going to do, the first thing, is going to heat up the jawline. Got my wife's hair dryer here. So I'm going to go over it for probably about 45 seconds. And I'll be right back and we'll get that jaw off. And I'll show you what I think would work for getting it to open further. All right, guys. That should have sufficed. I did it for about 45 seconds. So what we're going to do... Yep, it just ports into there and on this side. And then you have a jawless Godzilla. His tongue does stay in there. So my thought, and again, I, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do this. All right, that was weird as hell. Um, but my thought is that pull the jaw off. And then this piece right here on the bottom part of the jaw is what is hitting right here when you open it up. So I would take probably a Dremel with a very, very fine bit, very, very small, and slowly just kind of carve this out a little bit more. And that would ultimately free up more space to get his jaw open further because it's not going to hit this. I guess you could also sand this away, but if his jaw is closed, that's going to be a lot more noticeable than actually taking some material off of the lower part of the jaw right here again i would do it a little bit of the time test fit it see how it works if you need to take off more then go ahead try and keep it even there will this will leave a bigger gap than what is already there when his jaw is closed but it's on the other side of the mouth so most of the time i wouldn't imagine it'd be all that noticeable so i'm going to go and plug this back onto him and then that's what you do you just plug this in and then plug it in on the other side in there. And even with it warmed up, I mean, you can get it open further, but then it kind of, again, disjoints his jaw. But yeah, so if you move, remove that, then you should be able to get this up underneath here, which would allow his jaw to open up much further. So that's my thoughts and take on that. Um, I do have some more videos coming up soon, so stay tuned. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Until next time, take care.